For late details, we go to newsman Tom Whalen at WBAP-TV, Fort Worth. Um, hang on. This is Tom Whalen in Fort Worth. WBAP newsman James Darnell in Dallas on the scene of the presidential shooting, the shooting in which uh, President Kennedy and Governor Conley were shot, has an eyewitness interview with a Mrs. Jean Hill. Here is the interview. What is your name, ma'am? Jean Hill. Are uh, from Dallas? That's right. And uh, did you see the shooting, miss? Yes, sir. Can you describe what happened? Yes, sir. Will you do that now? Uh, they were driving along, uh, and we were the only people in this area on our side, and the shots came from directly across the street from us. And just as the president's car became directly even with us, the, we took one look at him, and he was sitting there. He and Jackie were looking at a dog that was in the middle of a seat, and about that time, two shots rang out just as he looked up. Just as the president looked up, and these two shots rang out, and he grabbed his chest, and it looked like he was in pain, and he fell over in the seat, and Jackie fell over on him and said, my God, he's been shot. Uh, and uh, there, after that, more shots rang out, and the car sped away. Now, what kind of a car was that? What kind of a car was it? The president's well, I mean, car. I mean, where did the shots come from? The shots came from the hill. From the uh, hill? Yes. Uh, and it was just east of the underpass. Uh-huh. And, uh, we were uh, on the south side. Did you see? Could you, did you look up there where the shots came from, ma'am? Yes, sir. Could you see anyone? I thought I saw this man running, but I looked at the president, and you know, for a while, and I looked up there, and I thought I saw a man running, and so um, right after that, I guess I didn't have any better sense. I started running up there too. Uh huh. And what is your name? Jean Hill. G E A N. J E A N. Uh, and Jackie, uh, and where's your, what's your address, Miss Hill? 9402 Bluff Creek. 9402 Bluff. This is Mrs. Jean Hill of Dallas. Could you tell us what you saw? Yes, Mary and I had come down to see the president this morning, and we tried to get a place where we could be away from everyone, and we, I guess, succeeded as the car came down the hill toward us. He was on our side of the street, and the... Uh, the president and Mrs. Kennedy were in the back seat. They had a little dog between them looking at it. And just as the car came right in line with us, the president looked up. And just as he looked up, two shots rang out. And he grabbed his chest, and this real odd look came over his face, and he pitched forward onto her lap. And she jumped up over him at that and screamed and said, My God, he's been shot. And there was just an instantaneous sort of an instance pause and uh, in the motorcade it momentarily halted and three or four more shots rang out and they sped away real quickly and by that time I became aware of Mary tugging on my foot saying get down there shooting and I hadn't it hadn't registered I'd been so busy looking at the president so you were in a very advantageous spot to see the president to see the president but also to get shot now I would like to close with a shaggy dog story. Gene Hill, of course, was here. She watched the assassination. She has become an important and a publicized witness. And uh, Mr. Posner goes after Gene Hill. Quoting Gene Hill as Mary, from her deposition to take a picture President Jackie and they were looking at a little dog between them. He elaborated later to say it was a white fluffy dog. When she discovered there was no dog in the car she claimed to be confused by the white roses but they were actually red. She later dropped this dog from her story. The esteemed Dallas uh, FBI uh, worker Ferris Rookstool will be seen tonight on CBS ridiculing Miss Hill and her shaggy dog story. Uh, as part of the CBS two-hour special tonight, and uh, so keep that in mind as I take you to Love Field in Dallas as the motorcade is about to begin and as Jackie Kennedy enters the car here under the roses in her left hand is the little stuffed dog actually it's lamb chops we believe the it was given to her by a little girl as she walked along the fence uh, at Dealey Pla at uh, Love Field there. We'll have some video in just a moment showing that. Here's her hand, here are the roses. We'll have some video in a moment showing the roses before and after the little white dog. 
And I thought that Gene Hill ought to at least be vindicated a little here. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, run the, go ahead, run the video now if you want. Uh, actually, she not only does she, you see it here, but she shows it to the president in the car. She holds it in her hand between them as he gets the video rolling here. I hope we can see that. And also, there is one clip which shows the car, which shows her shaking hands along the fence, and a little girl gives it to her, passes it to her as they shake hands along the fence. In literary terms, this is known as a pregnant silence. Okay, this will run several times, by the way. Here you'll see her in just a second. She will hold it up in her hand. Right, it shows much better right here, just a second, right here. And lays it in the seat. I was looking for something else when I found this a few weeks ago, and uh, I don't know, we'll decide when there's enough video here of this. There's the little ears. It's lamb chop, we believe. Uh, there's one moment in which the president looks, she shows it to the president, he looks down at it. After shaking hands over here. Now there, here is the, uh, here's the sequence over here as she goes along the fence. I'm sorry that I don't have this very well. Robert Groden will have this for us soon because some of this comes from video he used some time ago, but I didn't have a, the original to work from. But this is the moment here in which she's shaking hands. Here's the, here she is before and after with, with our little dog. Okay. Thanks, that's, that's fine, thanks. This is KRLD AM and FM Dallas. Now to the KRLD newsroom and Jay Hogan. Two eyewitnesses to the fatal shooting of President Kennedy today were perhaps closest to the scene of all. They are two Dallas women who picked out a special vantage point near the triple underpass. One took a close-up picture of the president almost at the moment he was struck by the fatal bullets. KRLD News talked with both in an interview a few minutes ago by telephone. Hello, Miss right. Hill. Yes. Did, did you say you were at the site of the assassination? Yes, sir, we were. My friend took the picture as he was hit. Your son took the picture, and you were there, my, too? My son took the picture as he was hit. I see. You were both there at the scene? That's right, right. Uh, uh, who was your friend? Mary Mormon. Uh, is she there now? Yes, she is. Uh, may I speak with her? Yes. She, she, after she took the picture, she fell on the ground. Uh-huh. And she didn't know he was shot. Yes. Just um, a moment. Mary? Yes. Hello, Miss Mormon. Yes. Uh, you took the picture uh, just after the shooting or just before? Uh, evidently, just immediately. Because he was, he was looking, you know, whenever I got the camera focused and then I snapped it in my picture, he slumped over. What type of picture was this? It's a Polaroid picture. Uh, about how close were you? Uh, how close? How many feet? 15, 10? Oh, fairly close. 10 or 15 foot. Uh, no more because that's where I had my camera. This, this was right at the underpass? Yes, just a few feet from the underpass, you know. Were you up on that grassy bank there? Yes, that's where we were. And I stepped out in the street. We were right at the car. Uh-huh. She, she hollered. Did you uh, see uh, any uh, suspicious person in connection yeah, of with... course, I, I was just, uh, you know, doing it with my camera. And uh, when I took that, well, the shots had rang out, and I wasn't... Looking around. I uh, around. How, how many shots did you hear? You say shots rang out. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think three or four is what I, I uh, that I heard. Uh -huh. that, I was, that I'm sure of. Now I don't know. There might have been more. It just takes seconds for me to realize what was happening. Yeah. Uh, what was your first thought? Uh, that those were shots, and yeah. that he has been hit, uh -huh. and that they're not to hit me because I'm right at the car. So I 
Yes, that's the only place for me is to get on the ground. So, uh, uh, of what? Uh, how did the uh, president respond to uh, this shot? I mean, did he just slump suddenly? Or? Yes, he grabbed his chest, and of course, uh, Mrs. Kennedy jumped up immediately and fell over him. And um, she says, my daughter, he's been shot. Did you notice any other reaction to uh, persons around him? around the president in the motorcade there at the time of the shot? Uh, they hesitated just for a moment because I think they were like, I was, you know, was that a shot? Is that fire or just what? And then, of course, uh, he touched himself and they immediately set up real fast, you know, like to get out of there. And uh, of the police, there were several motorcycles around him and uh, they stopped and uh, one or two must have went with him, and one ran up the hill, and my friend that was with me ran up the hill across the street, you know, from where the shots came from. Did it they, was just confusion then. Did the reports of the shot, in other words, the sound of the explosions, did they sound uh, rather loud? Yes, they did, just like a firecracker going off that at the top. It seemed, uh, seemed fairly close by. Yes, uh-huh. And from what direction did it seem to be? Uh, oh, loud, just right there at me. <laughs> uh, just, just right at you? That's, uh, yeah. The wind is blowing so hard, you know, and the, it just, whenever the, the sound popped, well, it just sounded like, well, you know, there might have been a firecracker right there in that car. And in your picture, uh, you uh, took this picture just before the shot. Or right at the time he stopped. Exactly at the minute that he that it hit him, because um, he was he was looking at me. Or, I mean, he was looking, you know, at uh-huh. the people. When uh, whenever my picture came out, then uh-huh. he slumped over. So I must have got it. And this this shows in your picture, does it? This shows in your picture that something happened to him. Yes, I mean you can tell he's he's uh, been over and she she hadn't even gotten up in my picture and she did get up. Up in the car. You, you submitted your picture to the Times Herald, did you? Well, not exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> they didn't have my picture. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much, uh, Miss Mary Mormon. And where do you live, please? I live 2832 Ripplewood. Uh-huh. And you and your friend Miss Hill uh, were together there at the scene. Was anybody else with you? No. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we sure thank you. And also here we do have Miss Hill. Miss Hill, you were an eyewitness also? Yes, I was. I suppose we were the people closest to the president's car at the time. Uh, yeah, that was about 10 or 15 feet, you say? Uh, not any more than that at all. Uh-huh. You were both looking right at the presidential car then? Yes, we were looking right at the president. We were looking in, the, in his face. As Mary took the picture, uh-huh. I was looking at him. Uh-huh. And he grabbed his hands across his... When two shots rang out, he you... grabbed his hands across his chest. And uh, I've never seen anyone killed or in pain before like that but it was this odd look came across his face and he pitched forward onto Jackie's lap yes and uh, she immediately we were close enough to even hear her and everything and uh, she fell across him and says my god he's been shot you were both uh, eyewitnesses to just about the same scene but although she was taking a picture you were not did you uh, notice particularly any the other people around at the time. There was no one around us on our side of the street. We had planned it that way. We wanted to be down by ourselves, and so that's the reason we had gotten almost to the underpass, mm-hmm. so we'd be completely in the clear. Uh-huh. Any other any other reactions from the, the other people in the motorcade uh, that you recall? The motorcade was stunned after the first two shots, and it came to a momentary halt. And about that time, four more, uh, three to four shots again rang out, and I guess it just didn't register with me. Mary was... Uh, had gotten down on the ground and was pulling at my leg saying, get get down, they're shooting, get down, they're shooting. And I didn't even realize it. And I just kept sitting there looking. And uh, uh, just about that time, well, of course, some of the motorcycles pulled away and some of them pulled over to the side and started running up the bank. There was a hill on the other side uh-huh. and the shots came from there. And, but after they were momentarily stopped after the first two shots, uh-huh. then they sped away real quickly.